Greetings, this is Captain Rex, and you're watching Star Wars Nut 77, home of the Star Wars memorabilia reviews. How you doing Star Wars fans? This is John with Star Wars Nut 77. In this episode, I'm going to review the 12 inch Attack of the Clone figure line by Hasbro. Now, I really like this line. There's 17 total figures that were released for Attack of the Clones. These came out in 2002, right before the release of the movie in theaters. I was really excited when these figures came out. This is a time when Hasbro put a lot of attention and detail into the product that they released, and it really showed in this line. There's three Jedi Council members, including Mace Windu, Plo Koon, Kai Namundi, there's three clone troopers also released in the 17 figures. Uh, there's a really cool deluxe jungle, uh, Jango Fett figure that I really like, which I'll show in this video as well. Uh, it's one of my favorite 12-inch lines that Hasbro produced. At the time, these figures retailed for around $20 each figure. Uh, if it was a deluxe figure, it was a little bit more than that, of course. But for the most part, you can pick these up for anywhere from $20 to $24 uh, US dollars in, in the store, depending on where you purchase them at. Without any further ado, let's take a closer look at the 12-inch Attack of the Clones line by Hasbro. The first three figures I'm going to show you are the first wave of figures released for Attack of the Clones. That is Clone Trooper, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Anakin Skywalker. Uh, these, I all purchased all these at the same time at KB Toys. Still has a sticker on the cover here. KB Toys no longer around, unfortunately, but at the time I purchased them, I paid uh, $21.99 each for them. Let's take a closer look at the Clone Trooper. You can see the attention to detail. He comes with a rifle as well. Fully posable, fully articulated. Here's an image of the clone trooper himself. Looks like a CGI pick. On the back, the other figures are available in the wave. So as, you, as I mentioned before, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker collect them all. A little information about the clone trooper himself. You can join the official fan club. Uh, you have the copyright 2002 Hasbro on the very bottom here. He had Jedi Master Points 20. That's a clone trooper. Here's Obi-Wan Kenobi. You got a cloth robe. See the attention to detail there. Blue lightsaber. There he is. Very similar on the back. Just a little brief summary about Obi-Wan Kenobi himself. Lastly, Anakin Skywalker. He's got the braid, his hair, but the rest of his hair is um, plastic, but he's got, also got a ponytail in the back. Also has a blue lightsaber. A little summary by Anakin Skywalker. So in the second wave of figures, Hasbro released kind of the villains or bad guys. Uh, so you had Count Dooku, Super Battle Droid, Sam Wessel. There's also a Jingle Fett, which, uh, which had accessories, and I'll show you that in here in a second. But let's take a closer look at Count Dooku. I actually really like the attention to detail of Count Dooku here. It certainly looks like him. The, the, the robe, his lightsaber is bent like it should be. It's red. He's holding on to it. There's all the characters in this wave. Super Battle Droid. 
Doesn't come with any fully posable, but I don't see any guns. I guess the guns come out of his arm, so he doesn't necessarily need any weapons. That's right, but pretty cool. Here is Anne Wessel. You can see that she has got the face. You can put the face on because she transforms and morphs. But what, this is what her species does. Fully posable. She's got the rifle as well. The pistol in one hand as well, or left hand. She's got a bandana that goes across her mouth as well. Here is Jingle Fett, really detailed figure, probably one of the most detailed 12-inch figures that Hasbro had released to date. Uh, and he comes with a missile launching backpack. It's the bottom. This is actually Velcro opens up. You can see the different things. He comes with a Camino uh, saber dart, different things like that. Uh, here's his jetpack, certain things like that. This side opens up as well. More information about him. So he's fully posable. It's all the different accessories. You can just pretty much clothe him. He comes with basic here, and you can put his armor on, different guns and stuff like that. His belt, backpack. Look at the, the face, it looks really detailed. It looks like the actor who played Django Fett. There's the darts, saber darts. Different hand motions. You can change his hands and do different things. Got this helmet, very cool. And, and right here it talks about includes what it includes right here. On the back, a little about Jingle Fat. Here's the top. Now there were two electronic figures that has been released in this line. They had Jingle Fett, which I have right here, and there was uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. I don't have Obi-Wan Kenobi at the moment, but uh, here, this is the electronic one. I'm not a huge fan of this because it's, it's very hard plastic. Everything's plastic. Uh, it's a totally different mold and everything made of different material than the other 12-inch figures are. But you can see the side here, the back. He pushes these, this is what he says. And then here's blasters, rifles, and stuff like that. Surprised the batteries still work for that, considering it's over 10 years old. Different weapons. And then Obi-Wan Kenobi, you can see here, says different things as well, and they interact with each other. Here's from uh, Wave 3. Uh, you have a clone commander and a clone captain, although it's clone trooper, it says clone trooper. Uh, this one right here in the red, he was actually a KB exclusive, only available at KB Toys. Basically the same figure, just different color uh, patterns. See the same mold as the original Clone Trooper. Comes with the rifle as well. Clone Captain. Same weapon. Pretty much the same figure, just different color pattern. Even the image is the same, they just change it to be red instead of yellow. The wave of figures that were released, uh, these are the three Jedi Council members I was talking before. In Mace Windu. See how it looks like. Samuel L. Jackson, pretty incredible. The purple lightsaber. What about Mace Windu? He had the Jedi Council uh, stamp here on the cover. He also had Kaya Animundi. They all stay fully posable on the side. This is the hardest figure to find. This is Plo Koon. He was available online only. Green lightsaber. It's still pretty rare, hard to find. One of the hardest ones to find in the set. In fact, one of the hardest 12 inch figures to find out there. Plocoon's one of my favorite uh, Jedi's for sure. Here's the last wave of 12 inch figures for Attack of the Clones. And these are a little bit different and the reason you can, how you can tell these apart from previous ones are that it's got the, the orange label now instead of the red label. 
Uh, and uh, this Anakin Skywalker has slashing lightsaber action, okay? So it has, you have Padme, you have Anakin, you have a Genosian warrior. Here's Padme. She's got hair, synthetic hair. Several different weapons. She's got a holster as well. Here's her image. Those are the other figures in, in this wave. Here's Anakin. You can see his look, a lot different than before. He's a lot more angry. He's got the hand as well, so with the robotic arm. And then you can replace the hand. Two lightsabers now, so he's in the duel. Slashing lightsaber action. So you can pull light on, uh, right hand on and off. It also says move uh, con control handle on the figure back by slashing lightsaber. There's a, there's a handle on the back, you can actually move him to swing. Pretty cool. Here's the last figure, Geonosian Warrior. This is actually a pretty heavy war uh, figure. He comes with a staff. It's a picture of what they look like. So, Well, that concludes my review over the 12-inch Attack of the Clone figures by Hasbro. Let me know what you guys think by leaving a comment below. May the Force be with you, always. Take care.